care. I want to talk directly to Mr. Ling. Hey, Mr. Ling. And this is a Mr. Todd Ball here. Uh, I want to make a complaint here. Oh, I uh, bought the one of those new uh, Japanese uh, hair pieces from you, and I uh, want to complain about that. I don't know. I think it was uh, the uh, Yokohama Sportster. <laughs> right. Well, it said there I, that it was supposed to be real hair. Well, I don't think it is. I think it's just the pieces of a thread. Well, in the winter time I get the dandruff, and in the summertime I get the silk worms. <laughs> I don't think that for me. I could return that. Hey, you busy bee. <laughs> this is your keeper speaking. What are you trying to do in there? Come up with a thought? <laughs> this is Higgins. Hello there. Mrs. Higgins. Hello. Don't press your button. Hello. Don't press your button. Hello. Don't quite sound that button when I'm talking. Yeah. Uh, what's going on in there? I'm getting ready to go to lunch. You look like you're in the trance. Trying to contact the chili dog? No. I have a date for lunch and I'm trying to think of a restaurant he could take me to. Well, uh, why don't you get a nice official lunch? That's supposed to be brain food. <laughs> First, in your case, you'd have to order a whale. <laughs> Seems a shame to sacrifice uh, Charlie the Dooney for Wiggy the Looney. <laughs> you get the nice aside the portion of a poor pie. Poor pie, isn't that olive oil's boyfriend? <laughs> Why don't you and your date just your date? <clears throat> what do you mean you got the date? What happened to your the husband? Uh, we split up a couple of weeks ago. Oh, that's a shame. What happened? Did you have an argument over the theory of relativity? No, his relatives didn't have a thing to do with it. I just decided it would be better for us if I didn't see him or even speak to him for a month. Mm. Some guys have all the luck. Well, I just hope you know what you're doing. Oh, sure I do. I file my nails lots of times. <laughs> Where uh, did you meet this turkey, anyway? In a hardware store. Yeah, that figures. Where were you, in the nuts and the bolts section? <laughs> no. As a matter of fact, I was in appliances. I was looking for a new kitchen clock. Mine stopped. You shouldn't have looked at it. <laughs> Speaking of the clock, it's not the, quite the time to go to lunch here yet. We got some time, so before you go on that, we're in the lunch. Why don't you just get some work done here? Okay, I could sharpen some pencils. You got the 15 minutes. Maybe you can get to, to at least one of them. of the Black Sea. <laughs> Guess who? Oh, Arnold, I told you not to pick me up until noon. You're too early. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Forgive me. I just couldn't wait any longer to be by your side. 
to see your beautiful eyes and your golden hair. Heck, I've been waiting outside since 10.30. Arnold, don't. Please. Now, I have a lot of work to do. I have these pencils to sharpen. <laughs> Why don't you just go away, go outside, and come back at noon, okay? You know, noon. <laughs> noon. That's when the little hand and the big hand are both pointing straight up. Pointing straight up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my darling, you are so funny. <laughs> Please don't make me go away. I won't be in the way at all. It's, it's awfully cold out in the hall. I promise I won't be a nuisance. Well, you cross your heart and hope to die if you should ever tell a lie. There you go again, darling. You are so funny. <laughs> all right, you can stay, but just stand in the corner. Oh, thank you, darling. <laughs> May I, please? Okay. Arnold, please. Oh, I'm sorry. I... Uh, Cleopatra. How about the rowing your barge into the office here? I mean, eh? Oh, hello. <laughs> That's a your date? Yeah, I know. Oh, he's a pretty nice looking the guy. Him? He's okay. Okay. I'd like to borrow that head and go to the beach here for a couple hours, I'll tell you. <laughs>